Hi, today I want to show you how to remove the labels from a new plastic container. Now, I bought these not long ago and I bought them before, but I remember that it was pretty difficult to remove the labels. Now these small ones usually aren't too bad. The colder the room is, the more difficult it is. That came off pretty easily. The whole thing came off. But it's the larger ones that can really be a challenge. So the solution to that is a handy dirt dandy hair dryer. Doesn't need to be an expensive or fancy hair dryer. Any hair dryer that heats up will do. Now because it doesn't take long to heat it up, I'm gonna go ahead and use the high heat setting. So it's gonna be a little noisy here for a minute and I'll show you how this is done. So here's the label, here's the heat hair dryer. pretty warm but it's not too warm to work with so let me use my nails pull up a corner and it should just quite easily pull up if it doesn't you need to add a little bit more heat okay no this works quite well unless it starts tearing and I can see that it's doing that at the bottom so what I'm going to do is apply more heat Doesn't take very long. You should be careful because obviously a hair dryer isn't intended to be used this way, so you don't want to leave it in one place too long. So it's removing, but I can see it's starting to tear at the top. I'm going to go ahead and whoops, remove what I can, which apparently is that much. When I'm finished with these, they're going to go in my pantry. I store a variety of dry goods, specialty flowers, that kind of thing. Once I'm finished removing the labels, I will wash and dry them carefully. And I usually let them sit for a couple of extra days to make sure that everything is dry. I don't want to put almond flour in here and find out that I've left any bit of moisture. That would not be good. So that's my method for quickly removing labels without having to apply a variety of things from dish detergent, soap, liquid soap, to uh, WD-40, to oils, other oils. This will come off quickly. I just don't want to take the time to do it right now. So I hope this helps you. Give it a try sometime and help relieve some of your frustration in removing labels from plastic items. I bet it would work on wood or uh, other surfaces too. So give it a try. Have a great day. Bye-bye.